Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and I welcome you to my IELTS listening multiple choice video for part 3. Exactly, there are four multiple choice questions. So we are going to see how to deal with multiple choice questions in IELTS listening, especially in part 3. Get ready, be attentive, be alert, pay full attention and you will have no trouble with multiple choice questions after this video. Let's see, questions 21 to 24, choose the correct letter A, B, C. The title, title is presentation about refrigeration. Switch on your imagination, presentation. Imagine one person is delivering a presentation or imagine in the university they have given a presentation and the topic is refrigeration. Refrigeration is like refrigerators, fridges and all that. Okay, so let's see. Question number 21. Now in multiple choice, two things are important. Number one question, number two statements. First read the question carefully. What did Annie, it's Annie, not Annie. What did Annie discover from reading about ice houses? Now, Annie discovered something about uh, reading about ice houses. So, whatever she discovered, that will be the answer. Whatever she did not discover or what she wanted to discover, but she did not discover what she will discover, all these things are actually traps. Option A, why they were first created. Just focus, why created. See that, they've got, they've got uh, five words, but you just focus, why created. Right, you know, uh, in multiple choice options, there is another thing, like you say, I want to drink water, broken English, water, drink. Okay, so you can use this technique in multiple choice because we people can understand from two sentences, uh, two words actually. Somebody says, uh, I would like to drink some fresh cake, please. I would like to drink some fresh cake, please. And what we do, cake, eat. Okay, so just like this, you need to focus verbs, nouns, adjectives. Three parts of speech are the most important multiple choice, verbs, nouns and adjectives. So, option B, how the ice was kept frozen, how ice kept frozen and ice is understood, right? I mean, they're talking about ice, but anyways, how ice kept frozen. Option C, where they were located. Now, they means ice houses. Okay, they use the word they. Why they were first created? They means ice houses. Okay, so you should read the pronouns with the nouns. If you read like why our ice houses were first created. So why ice houses created? Option B, how the ice was kept frozen. So how ice kept frozen. And option C, where they were located. Ice houses located or where ice houses something like that okay let's go on i read all the questions then i'll play the audio and you can listen to them question number 22 what point does any any actually does any make about refrigeration in the ancient rome so any is going to make a point about what about refrigeration in ancient rome what that point is a. It became a commercial business. Just underline commercial business. In ancient Rome, uh, refrigeration became a commercial business. right? Although it could not reach to the commercial level of business, then it is not the answer. If they speak opposite to the option, if they add not with the option, if they add we considered, I thought, I expected all these options are wrong whenever they use words like that. B. It used snow from nearby. It means what? It means refrigeration in ancient Rome. It's understood. So refrigeration in ancient Rome used snow from nearby. Right? If they say they had to bring the snow from long distances, long distance is the opposite of nearby, then it is not the answer. C. It took a long time to become popular. So, took long time to popular. 
or took long time to popular. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now they play the audio. They will speak about all three options, about some options. They will speak negatively about some options. She say, I expect it. Because the question is, what point does any make about refrigeration in ancient Rome? So the point that she makes will be the right answer. They will speak about all three options in any order. Sometimes it's C, A, B. Sometimes it's A, C, B. Sometimes it is B, C, A. Okay, so you got to see which option is being discussed and then you can see whether that option is the right answer or trap. By the way, you must try to eliminate minimum one wrong choice from three. Even then, uh, uh, then after that, your success rate is going to be 50-50. Question number 23. In connection with modern refrigerators, both Anni and Jack, Anni actually, yeah, Anni is different word, Annie and Jack are worried about. Now, Annie and Jack, there is another character, Jack. They are worried about what? Modern refrigerators. In connection with modern refrigerators, Annie and Jack are worried about what? A. In multiple choice questions, never read article. They have written here, the complexity of the technology. Two thes are extra. Complexity of technology. See that? How simple it can be, right? Complexity of technology or complexity, technology like water, drink, complexity, technology. Option B, fact that some are disposed of irresponsibly. Disposed of irresponsibly. The refrigerators, they are talking about that. C, large number that quickly break down. Large number break down. Large number that quickly break down. So you can just see out of three options, which option, uh, like they will discuss all three options. First, you see whether they start with B or A or C, catch that option, right? After sometimes, you know what happens? Usually the answer is in the last option, which is being discussed. Sometimes they give answer in the first option and then they go on to trap you and to distract you and all that. So you got to be careful initial part of the audio and the last part of the audio both are extremely important let's go on question number 24 what do jack and annie agree regarding domestic fridges whenever they say agree jack will say something annie will annie will disagree annie will say something jack will disagree right and then when they agree they will get married no actually what do Jack and Annie agree regarding domestic fridges? They will make a point about domestic fridges and they're going to agree on that. So three points, one point Jack makes, Annie doesn't agree. Another point Annie makes, Jack doesn't agree. Third point, any one of those make and then they agree. Uh, so any one of those makes actually. <laughs> You're speaking fast. You can't keep in mind all the things. So... What do Jack and Annie agree regarding domestic fridges? Now, domestic fridges, for that, they are using the word they. They means domestic fridges. Uh, they are generally good value for money. So, domestic fridges, good value for money. Domestic fridges, you can in, in, in circle, good value for money. B, they are plenty of useful variations. Plenty of useful variations. Domestic fridges, plenty of useful uh, variations. C. They are more useful than other domestic appliances. More useful than other appliances. More useful other appliances. Okay, something like that. So, in multiple choice, you need to understand this language where without article, without preposition, without helping verb, you should be able to make sense of the options which are given and focus nouns, verbs, adjectives. For example, option C, they are, I'm reading question number 24, option C, they are more useful than other domestic appliances. Useful is adjective. Domestic is adjective. Appliances is actually noun, 
right so you should go on like that and then you'll be able to understand now i play the audio on a notebook you can just write 21 22 23 24 and then when you listen to each option and you think for 21 a is the right answer right a and at the end of the audio i'll show you the answers and after checking your answers out of four you have to tell me how many answers are correct four by four 3 by 4, 2 by 4, 1 by 4 and if 0 by 4 तो केले आधी रेडी लगा ले, तो आइड्स ना कर, कुछ होर कर ले, सर्दियां चे किन्नू वेच ले, गर्मियां चे अंब वेच ले, ओके, okay? work hard to achieve your targets guys, you're not going to be here forever, you're going to be there forever, Canada, Australia and all that, ओके, okay? I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Now, let's take a start with listening test. All the best. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. Okay, Jack. Before we plan our presentation about refrigeration, let's discuss what we've discovered so far. Fine, Annie. Though I have to admit, I haven't done much research yet. Nor me. But I found an interesting article about ice houses. I'd seen some 18th and 19th century ones here in the UK, so I knew they were often built in a shady area or underground, close to lakes that might freeze in the winter. Then blocks of ice could be cut and stored in the ice house. But I didn't realise that insulating the blocks with straw or sawdust meant they didn't melt for months. The ancient Romans had refrigeration too. I didn't know that. Yes. Pits were dug in the ground and snow was imported from the mountains, even though they were at quite a distance. The snow was stored in the pits. Ice formed at the bottom of it. Both the ice and the snow were then sold. The ice cost more than the snow, and my guess is that only the wealthy members of society could afford it. I wouldn't be surprised. I also came across an article about modern domestic fridges. Several different technologies are used, but they were too complex for me to understand. You have to wonder what happens when people get rid of old ones. You mean because the gases in them are harmful for the environment? Exactly. At least there are now plenty of organisations that will recycle most of the components safely. But, of course, some people just dump old fridges in the countryside. It's hard to see how they can be stopped, unfortunately. In the UK, we get rid of three million a year altogether. That sounds a lot, especially because fridges hardly ever break down. That's right. In this country, we keep domestic fridges for 11 years on average, and a lot last for 20 or more. So if you divide the cost by the number of years you can use a fridge, they're not expensive, compared with some household appliances. True. I suppose manufacturers encourage people to spend more by making them different colours and designs. I'm sure when my parents bought their first fridge, they had hardly any choice. Yes, there's been quite a change.